Hi, it's John Binney. Today I'd like to talk about time. So for me, time is one of my obsessions for sure. And part of that is linked with my day job and then part of it's with my music and my family and all those things, not in that order, like cramming them uh, all together in a day. And I really want to create so much every day. I absolutely love it. It just like, it just gives me so much energy and so much excitement. And I love sharing it with so many people. And so I, uh, I don't need a lot of sleep. Um, I, when I stopped drinking um, a couple of years ago, uh, I realized that like when I wake up in the morning, I can just, I can like go straight in the studio and just start recording songs straight away and really just like eat breakfast and go. And so that was a real revelation for me. because I thought before that, I thought, well, oh, I'll need some time. Like I can't do, you know, I can't do these things until something else has happened. Whereas now I feel like I can just get up and I can just do this. And so for me, like a, a big thing I obsess about is like having all my music stuff set up and I'll, I'll definitely do a studio tour um, soon. Um, but it's really set up so that it has very little for me to do in preparation. I just come in, I move my mic stand over to the, the chair uh, sits behind me. I turn everything on, I tune my guitar, and then I just start recording. So it's like, for, for me, it's the, the setup is, is done, and uh, anything that gets in that way, like it really annoys me. Um, so something like, something happens, like I broke my guitar recently, that was super annoying. And when, and so when I don't get my way, I'm like, um, I really need, you know, more time. Like I'm worried that the thing I, I obsess about, like my passion of, of music, will I get time to do music if something goes wrong in terms of time? Um, and then there's a very different view. That's a very human kind of experience that I go through. Something I'm starting to appreciate more and more about time is actually there's a right time for everything and there's a right kind of space and time for you to experience something. And it often feels like the universe is trying to tell you something, sometimes very subtly, sometimes very strongly, like your train's late or your, um, you know, your power's out or, or whatever. And it's trying to show you something else. It's trying to say, hey, you know, I know you wanted to go and do this other thing, but actually there's something far more important for you to pay attention to. Um, and sometimes like the subtle things. So today I was recording a song and I dropped my guitar plectrum and it fell just below the seat and it was, I was holding my guitar, it's really awkward to, to get down and reach. And so I just left it there and I thought, well, maybe it means that the song shouldn't have a plectrum. Um, it should just have finger picking um, and it changes the sound completely of a song. So I thought maybe I should just go with finger, finger picking and I did. And I'm so glad I did. Like it adds to this. It's a, another kind of space universe song. So it really adds to the melodies. And so I'm really glad that that happened. Um, other things like uh, being able to control time and being able to like, I need to be on time for something. I need to do this thing by this time for someone or I made a promise or I feel bad like I'm behind and we're going to let someone down. Um, it feels for me like every day is like a priority. It's like this kind of layers of priorities. One is what am I even doing here with my life and with these people I surround myself with through to, hey, I've chosen to do this task, which is to do um, a job. And I need to focus on top priorities like every day, like every, at least every like 15 minutes or 30 minutes, I'm always thinking about, is this the most important thing I can be working on right now? And it, there's lots of different dimensions to importance, like especially importance for other people. Are you helping other people? Are you um, being able to nurture them, to grow them? Are you uh, making a positive impact in someone else's life versus just you like just doing something because it makes your ego feel better? Um, and I, I also really enjoy taking time, uh, taking a break. So I love being able to just stop. And like at the weekends, I definitely have several hours on, on a Saturday and a Sunday of doing nothing, like making sure I'm doing nothing. I can be um, just sitting on the sofa, it could be going for a nap. It could be uh, watching TV, uh, like Netflix, or, or I just often like watch it and phase out and nap for a little bit and then get up and just get on with the rest of my day. 
Um, and I'm also like a morning person, so I love doing everything, like getting all my chores and everything done early. Um, so yeah, I, some of this is just sharing my experience of time. I think there's also many spiritual aspects of time, which I'm learning more and more about, which is that it feels like you can affect the past and it totally blows your mind, but effects like the Mandela effect, like totally support this idea that, that it's fluid, that there's multiple timelines, that they're all kind of happening at once in this present moment and that you're drawing in. So in your mind, you're trying to kind of understand this, this linear concept of time. But the reality is time comes in, in the past, present, future, all at once to you. And you're experiencing all this at once. Um, and like you experience memory, you experience the past and like you experience an intention, you experience the future and they're all together now. And so you can affect all those now. So the good news is you can heal all those. Like you can heal them by sending love to them. You can send them all your love and help them uh, heal and forgive and grow. Um, and that's beautiful. And I'd love to talk about that more. Um, and I'll think of some scenarios. I'd love to hear some of your experiences about time, like especially um, how you deal with like your day to day. Uh, and then also how do you, how do you feel about the past, present and future? And, and how, what kind of analogies do you use when you describe time uh, and its fluidity? So it's been lovely chatting with you. Thank you so much for coming along. I'm really glad. Uh, uh, thank you for all your support uh, watching John Talks uh, and for my music. So thank you. And I'm sending my love from Scotland.